Hi guys, welcome back to my channel one more time. Or should I say, guys, welcome back to my channel one more time. Today I am doing a Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look. And I hope you guys stick around if you guys would like to see how to do this makeup look. <laughs> was that good? I don't know. I tried to be like Kylie Jenner. <laughs> I'm totally not her. I just think it's so funny because all the Kylie, all like the Kardashians are always so like so serious and um, it's like so sexy the way they talk and it's like they have like no emotion and whenever they do it's very like subtle. So today I'm doing a Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look. I actually tried to transform myself into Kylie Jenner. So if you think I do look like Kylie Jenner, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Um, and if you would like to see how to get this makeup look or how I do it, then definitely just keep watching. Thanks guys. Just gonna go through her pictures and see what I noticed in her. Um, and I did watch her Vogue um, YouTube video so I also looked at that and to see like, kind of her makeup routine um, and a lot of people hate on Kylie Jenner but I'm not about that hating life so I think she's really pretty. I'm just gonna try to make myself look like Kylie Jenner because it's a challenge for me. I'm gonna do my eyebrows first and I'm gonna use a powder. I lost my eyebrow pencil by Makeup Revolution which I'm super sad about. I'm gonna first go ahead though and prime my face using some of the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. I'm not, I probably won't use any of the products that she used for her videos because I don't have any of that. So I'm just going to use my products. I'm going to go in with a black and brown and I'm just going to start shaping them. I'm just going to clean up my brows just a bit to use a light concealer like this Tarte concealer it's in the shade light medium so I'm just concealing I'm gonna go in with my NYX highlight and contour pro palette the shade right here and I'm gonna go in with this brush this is the Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill um, JH38 brush. It's just a tiny little brush. She doesn't follow her crease. She kind of goes from here to here. I think that's her trick. So we're gonna go, we're gonna start here. I'm gonna go in to this shade right here. I'm just gonna use it to blend everything out. So I won't have such harsh lines. Now when, whenever you wanna look, whenever you're trying to look like somebody, you do want harsh lines just because sometimes harsh lines will accentuate what you want to accentuate more, but you don't want them to be so harsh. You, you want them to be nice and blended, but if you do make a harsh line, you don't want it to be like, a harsh harsh line if I make sense um, so you want to try your hardest to make everything look blended because then it will look kind of choppy and ugly I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of a precise brush I'm not sure where I got this brush from I just know it's a lot it's kind of like a pencil brush and it is thinner so I'm gonna go in with a darker shade and really deepen up her eye shape deepen what I did up a little bit I'm gonna go in with this Physician Formula Butter Collection and I got this at Walmart. Not sure if it's still available, but it's honestly one of my favorite palettes. I love this highlight right here, you guys. It's one of my favorite highlights to use. So I'm just gonna take it on a small brush, apply that underneath my brow. Now I'm gonna cut my crease. I'm gonna use the Tarte Concealer. I'm 
I go in and kind of blend that line out with that brush in the beginning so it won't be so harsh because in her pictures it's not a harsh line so I'm just gonna blend that just a little bit like that and then I'm gonna take just a really light shimmer I'm just gonna do kind of like a I don't know if this is too light but we'll just go for it and we're gonna put it everywhere just with my finger I feel like she's not too precise with her makeup like I feel like she goes for whatever and she's not so precise with it so that's why I'm using my finger I'm gonna take a coppery shade and kind of put it like right here I was just like a shimmery coppery shade just to blend everything in just deepening out the outer V I'm gonna be using my favorite eyeliner ever and it's the NYX matte liquid liner love this liner We're set on the face now. Using the Makeup Revolution um, Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation today. I've been loving this foundation, by the way. I'll just be using my Beauty Blender to blend everything out. I'm going to use this LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer in Espresso contour this part of my face right here like that so I'm gonna bring my chin here chin is kind of like it's a little bit rounder so we're just gonna just conceal create a line here she has really good cheekbones so there I'm looking at a picture where she looked looking straight at the camera and her cheekbones are definitely more like up here so we're gonna just carve those out ourselves so I'm bringing my cheekbones up a little bit and then kind of like yeah. mm -hmm. and she has like a little bit of a, a contour to keep its bow Just like that and then it comes down and I'm gonna shorten my nose because her nose is definitely a little bit shorter than mine so we're just gonna shorten my nose by contouring it done with my favorite br brush to blend all of this out and I'm gonna try to keep it controlled but then again we can go in with concealer and just fix anything that we over exaggerated and like I said I am gonna make myself look like Kylie Jenner so my contour is gonna look a little crazy and harsh especially around here but I am trying to make myself look like Kylie Jenner, so it's going to look crazy anyways. And then you can definitely grab different sizes of brushes. So I'm going to use a smaller brush for like the little details. I know I look super crazy right now, but we're gonna go in with concealer and um, bring out her highlights and bring out her cheekbones a little bit more by adding some concealer here. And then she has a pretty, like, big accentuated jaw. So, like, because whenever she looks into the camera, you can see her, her, like, jaw. So I'm gonna just bring back some of that light. Perfect. 
Now it's time to fast forward and blend all of this. So here we go. So now with a little bit of, do I look kind of weird? <laughs> I feel like I look so weird right now. I feel like I don't look like me. With a little bit of powder, I'm just using my Airspun, tra Airspun Translucent Powder. Definitely bake a little bit. She likes to bake, but she likes to bake on her jawline. Um, I just like to personally do this because I have to. If I want my makeup to last. But honestly, I'm probably just going to go take a shower and take this off anyway. My chin use this makeup revolution a luxury powder it's in the shade banana i'm mixing it with a little bit of my airspun naturally neutral powder Perfect. take my hula bronzer i'm gonna use like a fluffy but yet precise kind of brush this is an elf blush brush cheeks like they come up like this with more of a angled brush I'm going to go into this shade right here from the NYX palette I'm gonna wipe away this powder I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose Just a bronzer, deepen up my lower lash line, deepen it up a little bit. Okay, guys, so I did my hair slick back like she always does it. Um, it's not the best, but hey, I tried, so give me some props, okay? I just curled my lashes and put some mascara on. She um, has lash extensions, I didn't want to put falsies on just because I feel like you could tell that they're falsy, so I just um, curled my lashes and applied some mascara on my lashes. This still looks crazy. I know. Excuse that. I don't know how to fix it, so here I am. Left with like a screwed up lip, but I don't know how to fix it, so excuse that. We're just going to ignore it. I'm going to contour my lips um, and then put a lip color on them, but since she did have more, she has, I have big lips, so I don't know if I should contour I will okay we're gonna contour my lips sorry I'm like trying to think this through in my head so I'm just gonna grab that con um, that contour that cream contour thing and I'm gonna put it in a small brush that I can line my lips with and my lips they're very pointy like I have really pointy lips up here let me check if she has no her lips are like Round, so I'm gonna round my lips out from the top. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Stock Stockholm. Don't know how you pronounce it. Put this in the middle of my lips. We're 
we're gonna add some highlighter. I'm just gonna go back in with the highlighter that I showed you guys earlier, which is this one right here. Um, it's called Highlighter in Full Moon. A little dot there. I'm put like a little line. There. Chin. I'm gonna grab the teeny tiny brush again, and I'm gonna highlight my inner corner because she's definitely known for highlighting her inner corner. And I'm gonna finish this off with some setting spray just so I won't look so powdery. Okay guys, so that is it for this makeup look. I really hope you guys did enjoy this makeup look. I enjoyed filming it for you guys. Um, and I definitely look at myself and I look so different, especially like my nose. I'm sorry for like my horrible contouring job. I'm not the best at contouring, so here we are, okay? Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this makeup look, definitely give me a thumbs up. Tell me who you want me to like transform into next. Subscribe if you haven't and click the notification bell um, so that you'll be notified when I upload a new video. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!